what time it is. This drain, this sinks emptying quite quickly. This sinks backing up. If we look underneath, um, this is the left hand sink runs into this pipe. This is the right hand sink that runs into this pipe. Um, so if this sink's running perfectly, but this sink isn't, then this centre pipe can't be the problem. So it needs to be this trap or this pipe going to that centre pipe, which goes outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble this trap, check and see if it's clean, and potentially clean out this pipe here. Oh, note to be made. This is my bowl, and this is my sponge. Should I make a mess? At any point, I can mop it up. But that's start. Right, okay, so we found an issue straight away. Under here, I don't know if you can see, there's a leak on the actual trap, on the, um, the plug fitting. So that's leaking, which isn't good. So we're probably gonna have to address that whilst we're here. Hopefully it's not overly damaged. It might just be, um, but it needs tightening up a little bit. Now the, the, the sink on the right, this one that we're undoing, it does drain. It's just very slow. So it's not a blocked sink. It's just a slow draining sink. So let's have a look and start with the the trap, okay. So if we look down inside here, I don't know if you can see, let me change my setting on the torch. That looks like a lolly stick. So that potentially is not helping. Um, so let's empty that out. And I'll give that a rinse in the other sink. Just make sure it's clean. There we go. Can you find the gloves? I left them in the van. Oh, you didn't bring them? Uh, we don't need them anyway. Right. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not planning on getting mucky and dirty anyway. <coughs> Doesn't mean I won't. Right. So let's just have a look and see if removing that stick has done the job. And if it hasn't, then we'll move on to something else. There's no way a plunger would have pushed that out either want it to it'll block just block something else up down the line I'll leave that bowl there because uh <coughs> I imagine this uh, plug hole is actually very leaky to vacuum the hose, the um, outlet pipe. Wait for a gargle. It's definitely not quick, is it? Killing the tank. Well, exactly, and I've also got um, 
I mean, I keep sieves on all the drains because of those, like I said to you, I'm used to having much older properties where you just can't put, risk putting them down. Yeah. You have an old Victorian house in London and, you know, it would cost a fortune to have it keep, you have to keep kind of flushing out the drains. Yeah. The old Victorian ones are so knackered. Um, Tiny little bit of water in there, but it's nothing it's clean. All right, so so far, I mean, I'm not sure if that's sped up. I don't know if you can have a look. Have you it might sped up a little bit, but it's not perfect. But it still backs up. And you've got a good old glug on this side, which is a bad sign. That's not sped up at all, is it? No. Nope. Right, I'd only ask that because oh. that's what we got out of the trap. What's that? That's a lolly stick. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's a good start. Um, you're, I don't know if you um, find that you're getting wet under here. Yes, I am, yeah. So this, the plug on this side yeah. is uh, loose. That's loose. Yeah, yeah. So it's leaking from around this edge here. Okay, so that needs, re does that need a new washer or something? It just needs resealing on there, but I can do that whilst I'm here. Can you? Yeah, no problem. Do you, is that, but I didn't think that was your remit to, to do that as well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, plumbing and drainage, should we do it? Mm. We don't do heating. So it's no, no, no good if you've got a dodgy boiler yeah. because they're not gas safe. Oh, thank God, I've got a decent boiler here. <laughs> right, so we can get in there. Let's get some better light. How's that? Hey, you right there? Camera turned off. Yeah, that's better. Is that recording? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see if I can get that in there. I'll suck that. Hopefully. I've got a really short hose. That's that thing. It's got to block up all the airways. So they can actually suck inside the pipe. It's just putting air in through this trap and that overflow is not actually uh, sucking the pipe. I don't think this hoover is strong enough. Right. It's definitely cloggy. I think we need something a little bit stronger than this battery powered hoover for this one. Alright, we've got the big guns out. Let's see how well we do this one. Definitely getting stuff. See the pipe twitching. Might smell a little bit. Right. Smelly? Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks, it? going to smell nice um, and then we'll put the trap back on and we'll test that Let's see where we're at with it I mean there's still quite a bit of resistance on the hoover so if that hasn't worked I'd, I want to go outside and check the um, the gully for this one <coughs> I, I did pull quite a bit back stinky in here. Right. We'll leave the end of the hoover in the uh, bucket so that it doesn't um, drip out all up the floor. I'm use my sponge and my bucket under the sink 
just a mock up. How much did I get out? Wow. Yeah, it was quite heavy, yeah. yeah. Is, it feels like there's too much in there. Like, where the hell did that all come from? Have a look. Right. Is it going? And it's blocked up again, backs up. Wait for a bug. Definitely went faster. Definitely. So we're just going to do that again because we might just be filling the pipe up back to the uh, back to the sink. So I'll fill the sink all the way up. Make sure I'm fully flushing. In fact, I'm going to use hot water with a bit of soap in it as well. Is that soap? Hand wash. Hand wash. Mm -hmm. Outside of that beautiful country garden. Now, there is a septic tank here, so we can't put bleaches or any antibacterials down the sink because it would kill the septic tank. All the helpful bacteria would die, and then it just wouldn't work. It wouldn't digest anymore. Yeah. What are we going to do about the pipe hole then? Well, we'll do that. Once we've sorted the blockage out, we'll tighten it up up here. It should just be one screw in the centre that we're tightening up and we can press the rubber. Yeah. I do have to use the gasket as well, I might even use that. Can you pull that tap, uh, plug out the other side just yeah. in case that makes any difference? Just pull more air in then. Well, that's, that's going low fast. It's going down really well. <laughs> but we're still getting glug in. That was from this pipe this time. Yeah, but it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be getting that. So. I think we're going to go outside and have a quick lift up on that drain outside. Yes. Uh, that doesn't appear to be it. It's going in the wrong direction. I wonder if 
that's it. Right, if I quickly go in there and run the, the tap. Taking his time, as usual. Thanks. Sure where that runs to that's the thing does it come out of here i don't know you didn't see anything there or nothing hear anything? i didn't hear anything there just the gargoyles from that pipe right yeah perhaps a drain snake i mean the pipe itself looks quite clean um so if i go in there with a drain snake but you're gonna have to go in inside to make sure i don't come up in the sea all right another country garden with a septic tank Beautiful country garden, lots of land, massive trees, beautiful garden, and a dirty drain. Right, I'm just going to signal to Taylor to empty the sink so I can have a look in here. Let's have a look. That's just flowing fantastic in there. There's no glugging or backing up at all. Um, but I said I'd go and check the septic tank as well. They said they've had it pumped recently. <coughs> um, the only access they've got is at the septic tank. So we're just gonna lift it up and have a quick peek. Holy. That looks pretty stacked in there, doesn't it? But that looks pretty full up to me. That does look pretty full. Taylor's coming. Uh, so you haven't met Taylor before. Um, Taylor's my son. He's come out with me today. Matthew's um, got other things to do today. So this is, uh, that's Taylor. He's been doing the camera today. So this is a septic tank. Looks disgusting. It, it's, yeah, it's not the most pleasant of things in the world. Um, but when you're off the grid, this is what you have to have. Generally. Can you hold this? No, we're just about to drop it. You don't need to touch it because it's dirty. So I'm gonna chuck me spring up there just to be sure just to be perfectionist um, and I'm not going to touch the spring because I've got no gloves on I can go run and grab you a pair of these if you could that would be awesome Taylor thank you So it is dirty, but it's not... I don't think it's blocked. I think they're just getting caught up in the... Go down, oh. And go down in the actual drain. Sorry? Oh, thank you. Here you go. Perfect. Oh, I don't like these ones. They're not. Sure you add. I, like, I like the orange ones. The 
orange ones look more slick. And they do. Well, they're my colour. They're the colour of, of Albert's Deep. No, I'm going down at the minute. Okay. Seeing if there's any fat in there or anything. Pretty good, do. Fill the sink up for me. For a minute, put the cap on, and we'll go inside and empty the sink. I'll let her know that her septic tank might be uh, full, and that she may need to consider getting that pumped. Oh, let me mention something about this bag. Spin it around the other way. See that? American bag. Americans know how to make tool bags. Just saying. <laughs> They're the only bags I'll buy now. They look good and durable. They're good. They look good. They work good. You can actually put tools in them. You can get to your tools when you need them. Oh, hello. We've got a big cat. Oh, I'm just going to leave that there. Oh, we really filled the sink up this time. Right, let's go. So we went from not emptying to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay, these yeah. are in the bin. I will use the sponge because the sponge is better. And it saves wasting money on blue roll. Got sponge, bucket. Got a bowl under here, which right, I'm going to empty this now. Let's double check. Boom. I'll get you a flathead for a second. Seems to be going down relatively unhindered. Occasionally we get a glug, but I think that that's more to do with the way the pipes are set up underneath. Um, oh. And the pipes are set up outside. There's, there's, there's no um, vent other than the overflows on these and the way the pipes are set I just I've got a feeling that's what it is where's my um my torch I gave it back to you you didn't did you I did you don't believe me no no no, no I believe you I believe you <laughs> I was just checking I was testing you <laughs> right so now if you look at this Ah, sorry. If you look at this, that is loose. All right, so we're just going to tighten that up for the lady. And there's a flat edge screw in the middle. And all we have to do is basically. Oh no. 
that's broken. Okay, so that's broken, so that needs replacing. The screw's actually corroded. So I need to let her know about that and we need to go and get a new one, which is a sink waste with overflow. <coughs> um, which I don't carry, so I'm gonna have to go and get one. That. Just appeared there. I didn't go out, honest. I didn't go anywhere. And I just magically refilled my cup of tea. Taylor's gonna hold this again for me, aren't you, Tay? Yeah. Yeah. And you've got the torch. You do. Do I? Uh, it's in the van. Is it in the van? Um, oh, it might be. It might be in the bag. Oh, it just teleported from the van to the bag. Do you see that on my face in that in that Sorry. screen on there? You wouldn't believe it. Taylor is doing videography in college. He's really good with a camera. Definitely. He's improving. Oh look, right. it's already come off and unscrewed itself. How about that? Oh, and that's already clean. Because I forgot to press the record button. I'm running out of paper, so I don't want to use too much. But I need to dry it up here. Make sure it's really dry, because I'm going to be putting a gasket on there. And I need to check underneath as well. Well, trying to get in with you. Yeah, you can get in there and have a quick peek once I've given it a wipe. So that's got um, plumber's mate on it. So I need to find something to scoop that off. And I've got just the thing in my sky rocket. Did you want to take this? You can hold that for a minute. I'm just going to take this blade out. And I'm just going to scrape it. So if you want to climb down and look in the camera, that's it. And I'll just scrape that all off. So, plumber's mate is a gasket that never sets, it's like a putty. Um, and it does work really well, I just, I don't like using it. A, a personal preference, there's no reason for me to not like using it, I just don't like using it. I've, I've used silicon, and not, it's not even silicon, it's LSX. I'll show you in a minute. All right, give it that. Dry that. And, oh no, look, I've got some muck up here. Gonna muck this up a bit, and I. So silicon won't stick if there's any moisture on there. So we'll just wipe the moisture off. And in my bag, we have LSX. Makes water work, it says. Jointing compound for external leak sealer. Oh, and external leak sealer. Basically, it's a silicon that sets really quickly. So, what I'll do. Now, a lot of people will do this differently. A lot of people. But I'm a bit overboard on it. I like to make sure that I just don't want to come back because there's a leak. So what I'll do is I'll put a gasket on there. Like that. All the way around. Then I'll pop that in. Stick that to the gasket. And then I'll put a bit more gasket on that. Which is probably completely unnecessary. Never have enough. But it's just what I like to do. Everyone has their little way, and that's why I do it. I'll pop that in there, dink, and then when that gasket sets, that will seal all the way around that edge, and that will never move. Um, and if once I've sealed the bottom side as well, if that screw ever snaps, it's still not going to leak like the old one snapped and ended up getting left inside the hole. Um, if it's in there long enough, it will snap, it will rust. 
All right, so let's get the bottom half in. Where is it? In the bag. Trying to set up the camera. Oh, right. <coughs> <coughs> we've got a gasket on this first. There's no point in doing that yet. Oh, well, I've set it up anyways. Oh, okay, I'll unset it. I'm going to just leave it there. If you want. All right. Do you need me for anything? So I'm going to give you this smooth rubber. It's got no wick on it, which I don't like. So I also. a bit of silicon gasket in there then I put the rubber in then I'll put a very thin layer of silicon gasket on there so basically every single joint that's made has a silicon gasket reach it uh, so it just pushed on yeah, got that. Let me make sure that's the same length. Ooh. So this is the overflow. It's the same length. But the diameter of the pipes is slightly different. So I'm going to put the new one on. It's going to... Oops. It's going to look a little bit different to the old one, but hopefully do a better job. And that one screws in. goes up to the back of the sink which Taylor's going to grab that so that you can see it go on basically oh hang on to be fair again I have to wipe that make sure there's no crap in there so well, well, that's on there now so I just need to put that in and screw it on why don't we sell on this one because there'll be no pressure behind the water that goes on there so that that just that rubber on the back is enough but when you fill a sink up the weight of the water bearing down on this joint is enough that if you don't silicon it it can push the water through just on the weight of the water there's no weight up here so it's not quite so necessary there's no weight pushing down on it well, that's never a good thing. It's because the shelf's only got, it's not fixed enough. Right, so we're going to just push that into there as far as we can, nicely. And then offer it up to under here. And then there's a screw, which I pulled out earlier. And then. Did you leave it up there? Last. Oh, it's here. Oh. So that drops in there. And then we just tighten that up. Hang on. Just cross threading. Marvellous. No, it's still cross threading. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I've got feet. Oh. <laughs> It doesn't dry that quick. Make it stand up. I'll that all the way down. tight that's unbelievably tight it shouldn't even be that tight it's not cross threading it's just stupidly tight screw
okay. and get to the bottom. Get it centered before we tighten it up for a final. Whew. Make sure that rubber's nice and over tighten it just enough so that silicon squeezes out around the edge and you know it's all compressed then right and then we've got the waste is on we've got a chain do a couple of okay. loose bits yeah, we need them and the new plug. Where's the new plug? Is there... That's a good question. Where's the new plug? The camera pond, isn't it? <coughs> oh, there it is. Right. right. That bit. There. Goes through there. We you got some pliers that you need or something? And it goes in there. I just need to squeeze that tight. Don't use it. We'll set these. It's a bit wide. Right. We'll just squeeze that into that hole. Like that. So that's on. And we'll get another one, which is a shorter one. I'm going to go through there. And then we need to squeeze it onto that. In it, and I'm uh, hoping it doesn't leak. Not too much. Just a little bit. I'm going to need to put this track back on first. <sighs> okay. Can you see over there, or do you want to come around the other side? I think I'll be by your shoulder. <clears throat> Take a rush of water. Right. Went down good. Loads faster than this morning. Yeah. This afternoon. Yeah. And there's no drips under here, so we're all. No drips? Yeah. Okay. 
time. Basically, we've come out. And have a plumber's been and explained that she needs someone that deals with drainage to come out and do this. Um, so she's called us. And we've, we've come. We've recognised that although the, drain, the, the sinks are draining, the one on the right was draining slow and glugging a lot, which is a sure sign of a blockage. Um, we've plunged it. Oh, we've, we've had the trap off. We've checked the trap. The trap is clear. We found a lolly stick in it. We tried again. Uh, we took the trap off. We checked it. It had a lolly stick in it. We put the trap back on um, to test it. It was still running slow. So next, uh, we took it back off again and used the vacuum to clear the pipe through. Um, they don't have an outside gully, so I can't check. They've only got an access point. Um, so we vacuumed the pipe through, tested it again. There was a bit of glugging, so we vacuumed it again. Um, tested it, and it seemed to work a lot better, almost perfectly. So we went outside and opened the access. We ran our drain snake in, up to the sink, and we ran our drain snake down, the full length of the drain snake, and we did snag on something and then it loosened up and then we brought the spring back. Uh, once we brought the spring back, we filled the sink up and tested it again. We looked from outside to make sure that it was flowing. It was flowing perfectly. We're getting a good flow in here. Um, 100% better than it was before. So uh, we did one last test before we go. I'm not filling it all the way up because I don't want to put any pressure on that LSX. But, I mean, the size of that whirlpool speaks for itself. That's raining fast. So I think it's safe to say that um, we're all good here. Sorted. What do you, what do you say, Tay? Sorted. Go on, you can take Matthew's spotlight. Go on. Oh, what does he say? Uh, Sorted. Sorted. And that really I think, yeah. accented. Yeah. Um, just an extra touch, actually, before I leave. Um, we are getting close to the 1,000 subscribers, and that is absolutely awesome. And I thank every single one of you who has liked, subscribed, and commented on all of my videos. Um, when we get to 1,000, um, someone has requested that we do a uh, an introduction and a Q&A so I'm gonna be looking into getting that sorted for when we hit the thousand mark um, so I thank everyone in advance and if you have any questions you want answered drop us a comment down below and I'll do my best to cover it all sorted see you in the next one